Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the budget bike build, the CB250. Righty, hey guys, so as you can see, no wheels, no forks, a few other bits and pieces missing, but I've got it, I've had a bloody problem, and that is I lost a whole lot of footage, me and Matt at night time painting those rims, which I'm gonna show you. I'm just oh, so pissed off about it, but anyway. There's no big deal. I got over it. <laughs> I've got some footage of doing the shock, uh, the front shocks. Have a look at this, and then we'll come back. Righty, hey guys. So it's the next night. Matt is not around. So while those um, wheels are still drying. We're having a look at doing these shocks, just giving them a bit of a clean up. So I put it out to Matt and to Nay saying, what do you reckon we should put? Should we paint them? Should we leave them the way they are? Should we try and shine them up like chrome? And all three of us said, shine them up like chrome. Exactly the same as what we did with the Virago. So this is most probably what they would have looked like when they were brand new. So that's the, ins the inside, which doesn't get all the stone chips. But when we go around this way, there you can see it's all heavily pitted. So what I'm gonna do is use, <coughs> to make it really easy on myself, is use a drill. That's 240 grit sandpaper. It's most probably a bit harsh, but to get the round ones, that was as fine as I could get it. So I'm just gonna go with that, and that'll really quickly buff out. I'll just quickly show you. You can see there, but you can see it kinda like really digs into it. But I'm fine with that, that'll be cool. That'll just get rid of all those pits. Then I'll get the finer stuff and I'll do the hand. And you'll see, it'll come up bloody pretty good. So the other thing I've got to do, grab this one, and that is this part of, you can see there's a bit of bloody rust where it's in the triple clamp. So I'll give that a clean up, but I'll only use metal polish. Now I'm just about out of the metal polish on that because I love this shit and I use it on everything. I've actually got some aluminium. I don't know if this is right, but as far as I can see, using both of these things, whether it's on aluminium or if it's on metal, they both do interchangeable same shit. Gets the same bloody result. Cool, so let's get into doing some cleaning up of those chromey bits. Not too bloody shabby. So I'll go through, do those, clean them up. They'll be back to brand new practically. Then we get stuck into the other bit. Rightio guys, so there you go. That's the tubes all nicely cleaned up. There are a couple of tiny little nicks. And, oh, no, Jesus. oh there you go. But yeah, that's all cool. All down here is all fine. Remember, we're not going to see this anyway. This is basically just a maintenance thing. Clean them up, make them all nice and clean. That polish will leave like a bit of a protective bloody layer on there as well, I'm sure. Don't quote me on it. I'm not an expert. So now, let's get into uh, grinding some of this stuff up. Rightio guys, so hopefully uh, you got some nice bloody close-ups on that. So that is 320 grit uh, sandpaper using a drill. I'll do that over as much of it as I can. And then I'll most probably get onto the uh, wet and dry. I'll, come, I'll show you that when I get into that. So let me get all this done and then I'll come back to you. Rightio guys, so here it is. That's, uh, this one has been sanded with a 320 and this one has not. Hopefully we can pick up the difference. 
In my eyes, that is a vast difference. Cool bananas, I'll just do the other one. Bloody done. Rightio guys, so that's a two now done. Yeah, you'll see when you're doing it with a drill, you get like little bits of scuffs depending on which way the bloody thing. Don't worry about that happening. So the next job is to, what I'm going to do is, so remember that was with 240 grit. I'm now going to go 320, then 800, and then 1200. Because that's the stuff that I've got here. Oh, and then of course, the last thing will be hitting it with that stuff. Now, very important, you can't stuff this up. I'm no expert, I've done this a few times. You can use, it doesn't have to be 320, I don't know, whether you might get a 400 and then go to a 600 or a 900 and then you might go to 1200 or 1500. You can't stuff it up because if you get to the end and you're going, oh geez, I can see scratches, you just go back and you do something harder over that and then you go the next step. You're not you're not gonna wreck this. You're not gonna you're not using a grinder and bloody cutting into this. There's plenty of metal in there to grind away. Um, now people will say that you know maybe spray that when you finish with it, spray it with a clear coat. You can do that. I I've never done that. Um, I find that they hold up really good and if you have to give it a buff once a year at the most with this stuff and it will bring it back to what you started with so that's what I think um, as always got to keep saying I'm not an expert this is just what I'm doing cool rightio guys what we're going to do is you can look down here I've masked off an area there what I'm going to do is each one of these and that over there if you can see that do that all now in real time you ready Righto, that's not working. <clears throat> I need to go to 1500, so obviously the 1200 isn't enough. I'm hoping I've got some 1500 here. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Three twenty. Eight hundred. Ah. Damn. Don't have any 1500. Mm. All right. Rightio, so we're going to call that a fa It's good. I don't know if this is going to pick it up. You can see, yeah, the, oh, this chrome's really, I remember doing it with the Virago. It was bad. So that's, you can see the difference there. Like you can, like how it's, that's chrome. That actually most probably looks better in the um, in the camera than it does. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get 1500. I want that better than that. I don't. I mean, for this bike, you don't really need to, but I like doing this. It really gives me a bit of a buzz that I can do that to a pair of you know something that was manky, and then you can make it go shiny with a bit of elbow grease. Using the drill to start with just makes. It's so much easier to do. But yeah, there you go, cool. Um, so, 
I'll do these shocks up until the 1500. I'll have to go to Bunnings uh, tomorrow and I've got to get this video uploaded tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have all this done for you to have a look at it and also the wheels. Okay, so here they are all bloody done. Now I did mention that I was going to be using uh, the 1500, I was going to go to Bunnings, get some 1500 and do it. I didn't end up doing that, I just stuck with the 1200. And this is the end product, so not as good as what I got the um, Virago 250, purely because I didn't go to the 1500, which is what I did on the Virago. So I'll make sure you can get in a pretty good, these all, obviously these things bloody cleaned up all good. So you can see that there are, well, where are you, all around the little bits and pieces. I haven't worried too much about that because once this goes on the bike, the wheel goes on and all the bits and pieces, the mud guard, it hides all that stuff. Basically, it's the outside part here. As long as you get that pretty well done, you know, you can even, oh, I'm not really too worried too much in there. Um, and, oh, and of course, just that front bit, bit there. If you get that done, when it's on the bike, you're looking down at it, that's all you're gonna really see. So there you go. You can do a better job. So what I did was, I ended up putting, because I did the 320 and with the drill, I did the same thing. I put the 800, just stuck it to that little pad, and I did 800 with that first. Then I got a bucket of water, got the 800, and I hand did it. So it saved me a lot of time doing that. And I just wanted to do that as a test to make sure that yeah, you can use the drill just to, to make things quicker. Um, and then obviously I went to the, the 1200 after that by hand. And then of course that uh, auto sole bloody uh, metal stuff. So that's, that's it. Done bloody deal, that's gonna be good enough for the CB250. Right, so I suppose you wanna see what these uh, rims turn out, so we've gotta go over to the workshop. Righty, so here is the front wheel. So it's done in the satin black come up bloody brilliant so only two coats is all that we put on there we didn't use the card trick because when we the problem that we have is trying to get Matt here and me and both of us in the mood to bloody do this stuff um, yeah it's it's hard and of course we didn't have any cards so we ended up just bloody using um, masking tape so we just marks uh, use marking oh, bloody hell masking tape all the way around and then just sprayed them up so they've come up really good that's the uh the brake housing let's spin this around it's the back side for what we want that is i should give you a bloody close-up shouldn't i i mean that's that's bloody brilliant if you ask me i mean that metal shield and i'll show i'll have a talk about that Here's the uh, the rear wheel, same bloody deal. Came up fantastic. So Matt did the rear, I did the front. I've got some notes. Let's go over, back over to Man Cave. Okay, so I'm forgetting, like in with the Virago, I really explained lots of stuff and I forget that there will be other people that haven't watched that stuff. So what we used is the Dulux Metal Shield Epoxy Enamel. And we've gone with the satin black. This stuff is absolutely awesome. It sprays on really well. The only, I suppose, the only downside to this stuff is that it does have a long dry time. So those wheels are sitting there. It's been a couple of days, I think. And they're gonna sit there pretty much until um, the next one we're ready to do the next video we'll then quickly put them on there I just don't want to touch them I had a lot of problems uh, with the Virago 250 and it was just me you know wanting to bloody you know Russian things and it ended up biting me in the ass and bloody all that kind of shit so you know when you spray that don't be tempted to go oh I want to put them on the bike and and all that because you'll end up uh, hitting them and, and it will then yeah, it's, it's, it can stay soft for a, for a little bit. After seven days, they just bloody harden right up and then uh, it continues to harden, I'm sure, or even, I'm rambling, shut up, man. Oh, so I just had a look. Um, so to do, to mask up, what we did was we let out the air of those tyres. Here's a picture of what we wanted to do. This is putting cards around the rim. So that's what we wanted to do, but we ended up just, we let the air out and then masked around it and then sprayed it and it was all bloody good. 
No, I think that, that was it. That was the only things on my list to bloody say. I've got to, I'm starting to write bloody lists now. Uh, so I, I don't have to get shit. Rightio, guys, so that's it. I'm calling that done and dusted. Next week, definitely those shocks will be placed in because I, I could put them in right now, but I don't want to do that. I want to put those in, have the wheels on, ready for you guys to take a look at it as it is. We'll also be having the front mud guard done as well, so we'll have a bit of footage of stripping that back and hopefully getting some clear coat. I'm going to have to go to a specialised automotive paint place. I think Perros is the place here in Bendigo. See what clear they got, because if I was to go to Bunnings and get the clear there, it's not going to be, especially for the petrol tank, for the guard not so much, it doesn't really matter, but I need to make sure that it's uh, petrol, this like wind's kicking up, uh, that the petrol won't uh, ruin it. And I know the stuff from Bunnings, if you get petrol on it, it will stuff it. Rightio, that's it guys. Remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on. Oops, I forgot to say, we've ordered foot pegs for the CB. Hoping, thanks to Wayne from Bloody Dimbola, good on you mate, thank you. Um, he's got us onto a set, and he's done a lot of bloody Honda stuff, so, uh, and these are adjustable, so, fingers crossed, they're gonna bloody fit.